Is Alice related to the Dagon? Um, the Dagon um, was a Palestinian deity and is very much aligned to the um, Babylonian deity Onus, who was described as a rapist. Um, we see the same tradition also. Um, the rapist is connected etymologically to the reaper and this analogy is found within the etymology of Dagon. Dagon is the Greek word for corn. The correct rendition though of Dagon is coming from the Hebrew word dag meaning a fish and the Dagon were represented as um, fish-like in appearance. Um, Dagon is probably from dag anu which means f um, fish and heaven. Um, Anu is also um, the principal deity of the Middle East, Anu who was represented as a jackal. Um, the jackal is an esoteric signifier of the dog star, so immediately we're seeing that there is a connection between the dog star and the symbol of the fish, uh, which is identified with the rapist, um, and the reaper and the reptile. All these etymologies are found within the um, Semitic um, and within the Latin. In addition we can see um, in the Akkadian language, the Akkadian word for a serpent is pior. This is um, rendered in um, the Hebrew as um, pira adam, which means savage. Um, and in the Persian, we've got the word peri, which were the race of serpents. Um, now, the word peri in the Indo-European etymologies, we can um, in morphology we can transfer the first sound with a p. So the word peri, which is a serpent being, is rendered in the English as a fairy. Now, um, the original etymology of um, PR is closely grouped and indeed may have originated from the Chinese word pa, which is a snake or a demon. So we can see how these words are transferred throughout the various different languages. In the Chinese we have a pa, which is a snake or a demon. Um, in the Akkadian language we have PR, which is a serpent. Um, this is rendered in the Persian as the peri, um, who are the snake beings. And in the English um, we get the um, etymology fairy. You mentioned in the murder of reality that Onus is another name for Osiris. Could you elaborate? Um, okay, well there's a close relationship between the deity Osiris and Onus. Um, Anus, as we said earlier, um, is a rapist. Now, the etymology of Anus is grouped with N, um, which in the Akkadian means Lord, um, but um, within um, the Egyptian Arabic refers to an I. Okay, so the symbol of the eye is a symbol of the dragon. As we noted before, the word dracon comes from the word dracos, which is an eye. In the Arabic, the eyelid af af um, is um, connected to afa, which is a serpent. Um, so the eye glyph, which is used to write the name of Osiris, um, specifically um, relates to the dragon, um, which is connected to the deity Onus, who is deemed as a rapist, and is connected to the star system um, Cyrus. So. Hieroglyphically, um, the glyph N, which is used um, literally to write the word I, um, in the Egyptian Arabic N meaning I, in the Akkadian means um, a lord. Uh, we find the same pun within English, we find the word Sir is related to the word C. Um, C, a symbol of the I, is um, identified with Osiris, or the line of the dragon. So, um, in addition with Osiris's hieroglyphs, we have the throne glyph. Um, now the throne glyph, um, and this is what I've argued within my book, is Asas. Asas means a foundation, so En Asas is Lord of the Foundation. An Asas is a pun on Anasas, Anas, which um, is the um, Babylonian fish deity. So we see that there is an analogy within the wordplay um, between Osiris, who whose progeny is identified with the dragon who originates um, from the rapist Anas or Onus um, who is the Babylonian deity. Um, Egyptologists um, give various renditions for the name of um, Osir Osiris. Um, one rendition they give is Wusser. Wusser is coming from the word Wasi um, which is a sentinel. Um, it's worth noting also um, that Asas foundation is um, um, is um, a variation on Asal, which is the word origin. So Osiris um, is the creator god, he's one of the original gods, um, and he is lord of the foundation. The foundation here originally um, connoted um, the six foundations, which were the six days of um, which were the six days of creation. Um, the seventh day was the Sabbath, which remained hidden and was associated with death because um, God is resting on the seventh day and um, the inaction of God um, is assumed to be linked to malevolence 
Um, so we see a relationship here between the Sabbath and the etymology of Saturn um, within the Hebrew language. Shapte um, is, is the word for Saturn and is connected to uh, the European etymologies of satiation, um, w which are variations on the idea of um, the meal or, or the sacred meal associated with the Sabbath.